It took a while, but I finally made it to the city of the living. People from the city were trying to get supplies across the river, but the drawbridge wasn't working. They asked me for help, and I just couldn't say no. This is Captain Z. Yeah. I just couldn't say no. Funny, this is Dravenlock. This is a gallbladderless space tomato. This is space for tomato. Fucking over me. <laughs> Who would have thought that the farmer just couldn't say no to people asking for a ridiculous amount of help? I hope the guy that voiced the farmer won some sort of reward for this. It's just brilliant voice acting. I think that Otis should definitely win an award for uh, best character. A zombie close <laughs> more on me, bastard. See, I thought that the game would already be over when you reach the city of the living. Well, technically, we haven't gotten into the city yet. We're just kind of, you know, on the outskirts. I guess it's true. I mean, yeah, it's full of zombies for one, so... It's not really a city of the living, is it? They're just looking for a place to stay. They're looking for a home. <laughs> don't, even, don't even get me started on that again. On the hobo? They launch you with that health pack. I've played through this game three times. And only once was I able to figure out how to get to that damn health pack. See, you have to go through that thing. It, you see the vent there. Obviously, you use the door. Are you gonna die right now? Because you no, didn't I have a lot of health before they poisoned you. I wow. rolled Holy shit. health pack. Though. This is like the third time this has happened. This is hardcore mode right here. I seriously need to blow pack. up those barrels. So damn hard to figure out where it's at. See that vent there? It's it being so anywhere. obvious, and you would, you know, look there, and you're like, oh yeah, there it is. And you would look at it, and you can't really tell those barrels are explosive. And so you're like, you bump into the barrels, and you're like, well, I guess I can't go through there. And then you run around looking to try to get through this door. No, I can't do that. And then you just end up not getting the help. Uh, well, actually, you no, I would shoot the barrels. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you can't, are you really going to waste ammo on those barrels? Yeah, you yes. They're obviously explosive barrels. Obviously. Every single barrel in this game that is explosive is, contrary to popular gaming culture, green. So yeah, I would shoot those barrels. This game's screwed. You're the only I one who's I will spend two to three shots, potentially testing a barrel to see if it's explosive, to get a health pack if I have no health left. That's yeah. This is where I've mentioned before, where you just get keys without like no real idea what you're doing with them. Hey, some keys. All right. I totally needed these and then keys. I like keys. needed that key to open that door. So that was a real challenging puzzle. Challenging, yes. It's missed quality right there. <laughs> Damage reduction 5. Granted by axe. Well, you know, it's a D&D &D axe. It's a war axe plus 1. Later on we're going to find the ancient wizard. Later on we're going to have to find the pages to the red and blue books. God. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the final boss. It's like the zombies were on the other side of the bridge, and I needed to destroy them. I needed books. <laughs> I needed books. I needed to trap the zombies in the magical book forever. Hey, I like Mist, all right. I like Mist too. Couldn't get into the city. The power to the bridge was out. If I could get the generator started, we might just stand a chance. Might stay in chains. There's a they, fucking Gatling gun on the back of that truck. They try to make it really obvious here that you need to go across the street and do the power first, but the first time I ever played this game, zombies were coming straight from, you know, the uh, building with the switch in it, so I went through and cleared that whole damn building out, and then I went for the power switch, and it was like, oh, that's right, yeah, I can't flip this, so I had to come all the way back down. And then when I went over there, it started playing zombie sound for non-existent zombies, because they were all dead. <laughs> <sighs> this game is truly quality. Hey, look, it's those, uh, you know, I, I supporters. I have to say, I'm at least pleased it has ragdoll physics because it seems like it wouldn't. You know with what? The rest of the quality of the game. I'm sure ragdoll physics was one of the things on the back of the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ragdoll, ragdoll physics. physics. Well, Enjoy the continuation time, still... to. At this point in time, it's still a relatively uh, new thing. Not every game had it. It's like, you love them in Half-Life. You know, this game's like Half-Life also. It's got the ragdoll It's that better right? with proper zombies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why it's better. The zombies are you know, hate A continuation of the hit uh, of the best-selling Romero classic. 
the official game to the movie. Because, you know, movie yeah, games are awesome, always awesome good. Movie. It was a great movie. That was one of the first uh, George Romero zombie movies I ever really saw was this one. And I didn't hate it, but that's because I hadn't seen any of the others. So I really actually haven't seen any of the others still. You're I've a seen, terrible like, person. I've seen parts of them and most of some of them, but... Yeah, you know, I've just never actually sat down and watched the whole movies. The colorized version of Night of the Living Dead was the first one I've seen. I saw the first remake one. of Dawn of the Dead, and all that did was piss me off, so... Yeah, I saw that one, too. That was like you know, a that slap in the face of classic zombie fans. That didn't it's like a slap to the face of anything. Like, any, if you exist, if you're a person, that movie was a slap to your face. Okay, I can't say I haven't seen any, like, all of the Of the Dead. I saw Flight of the Dead. I own that DVD. Why? I saw Flight of the Concords. I love that show. <laughs> oh, that movie was bad. Not Flight of the Concords, Flight of the Dead. Yeah, yeah I, I, I like how you can't see Jack shit in this building. You can see the zombies puking can... all over him. Yeah, they yes, all it's true. Green. Except, of course, when they puke on you, you can't see shit. Again. Yeah, maybe it's just my screen, but I can't see shit in that foyer. Well, yeah, no, see. See, you're, you're forgetting one thing. Zombies eat light. And brains. <laughs> and so, brains. you know, you can't have a zombie apocalypse in a well-lit area. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense, really. Well, you, you can't. can't. Oh, there you go. You know, I thought that it was going to fuck up. He's taking place in well-lit areas? Yeah. Dawn the Dead. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's different, the day. <laughs> yeah, the you only see really that, nice uh... Movies was the, uh park Shut up. Just... <laughs> Which was so... Dawn of the Dead. Tactic. Yeah. I never when I when I never got about that movie is that scene with the cop like when he just wakes up the lady he puts the gun on her head and it's like say something yeah <laughs> like what the fuck if it was a zombie you'd be dead what I actually fuck? got this done on the first try which was is kind of hard because they like to sneak zombies by you so this is gonna be interesting I like how yeah. uh, it gives you as much time as you what fucking scientists Anyway, I, I like how it gives you as much time as you need to get down to that down to the other thing there. Oh yeah, we well, see all the zombies aren't going to come out after us until I've gotten on the minigun. Then they suddenly know they need to come. Yep. Who are who's driving the truck because no one was helping you out kill, Otis. killing the zombies? Otis is driving the truck. When you were down on the boat, you saw an NPC who was essentially one of the zombie uh, models, but just like held really far away, so you couldn't tell. Yeah. And he but was the one he wasn't the there. He wasn't in the truck or anything. They got in the truck. So he where were they with hats and fucking holes? Now I still say it's Otis driving the truck. He's, his his ghost is helping you out. But you see, this well, who, right, they have who's driving the other truck? The minigun doesn't shoot quite where you aim it. It actually shoots a little bit uh lower. So you have to get used to that. Lower. And they try to sneak zombies past you, like really weirdly. And so this is kind of a, it's not hard because it's, you know, a hard mission. It's hard because the game sucks. <laughs> hard because they cheat. Artificial difficulty. Like, the gun yeah. is designed to de-leg zombies, essentially, because you need to be able to actually see where you're aiming, so you aim the gun so you can actually, you know, so you can see their heads. But that means you're shooting them in the, like, the pelvis. What's wrong with that? What well, de leg zombies are fun. Who will sneak by. Damn it. Crawlers. When you when you're crawl. like when you're spending all your time the, or trying to kill the crawling zombies, the other ones are running by on the side. And if one zombie gets by, apparently the entire town is gone. <laughs> oh no, a zombie with no leg. However, will we kill you? Pretty much. <sighs> it seems like a Gatling gun would have more kick to it. Oh yeah. It also seems like a Gatling gun would probably shred zombies a little bit easier. Or That's better. true. Well, it looks like you're firing 9mm out of it, so I mean... Yeah. Infinite ammo 9mm. This is the return of the 22 uh, Gatling yeah. from <laughs> <laughs> Day of the Zombie. Yeah, I've, I've got a Vulcan cannon, but it's only a 22 gauge. <laughs> okay. Thing is, I think that Why is it only 22, man? Them other bullets expensive, man. A I think that even would if still had, be like, really powerful in a goddamn Vulcan. Yeah, exactly. It, w it would still shred a zombie, I think, just because like, of the amount of bullets you pump out. 
Yeah. On the left there, behind that dumpster, is where, like, you'll look left and see there's no zombies, but that's because they're just right, you know, they're just behind the dumpster. And then you look back, and then the zombie makes it in. See, you know, like, fucking annoying? Right left. This, this part, where absolutely nothing is happening except zombies are slowly crawling towards you while you Oh, yeah, them. how long does it take them to get the truck inside the fucking city? You notice they don't change the music either. It's the yeah. same, just level music. That one, that yeah. guy right there who was running, he'll get you. Oh, yeah, we got fucked there. See, this could definitely I, do with a music change. Yeah. So there's from Tiny Tim, I would suspect. That was the last. Finally, Jesus Christ! Raising the bridge is a good.